Since the invention of photography, many mysterious pictures have shown up throughout the decades. Yet almost every mysterious photo that pops up in modern day society is immediately flagged off as fake with such easy to access tools like Photoshop. But in the past decades, programs like Photoshop didn't exist, which meant unless you had some authentic looking props, faking a photo was near impossible. Sit back and open your mind as we take a look at some of the most mysterious historic photos ever captured. In 1941, this photograph was believed to be taken at the South Forks Bridge in Canada during its reopening. However, some things about this photo seem a little out of place. You'll notice how the man to the right is dressed in somewhat modern attire. Considering the early time period, his clothing style does not seem to match what everyone else around him is wearing. He's also wearing what looks like sunglasses or a pair of goggles, and carrying a portable camera. Theorists claim that this is existing proof of time travel, and that the man portrayed in the photograph is from the future. However, some skeptics have pointed out some possible explanations, like the sunglasses representing typical glasses with protective shields, and the t-shirt he is wearing could have belonged to a hockey team that played in the NHL from 1924 to 1938 called the Montreal Maroons. And believe it or not, portable cameras did in fact exist in the 1940s. So what do you think? Does the man in the picture prove that time travel exists? Or are the explanations just pure coincidence? The next picture represents a painting called the Madonna with the Saint Giovannino. It was painted by Domenico Ghirlando in the 15th century and contains one small but noticeable detail that doesn't seem like it quite belongs there. On the top right, just over Mary's shoulder, there appears to be what looks like a UFO hovering in the sky. Some skeptics have argued that it's just a symbol added by the painter, or that it could be a cloud with sun rays beaming behind it. You can even see in the background, a man and his dog both curiously looking up at the object in the sky. Other experts argue that objects like this are often seen in medieval art and are usually just there to depict some sort of design or religious symbol. To many, this doesn't seem like a plausible explanation. The term UFO did not exist back in the 15th century, and mysterious sightings of shiny objects in the sky would often be described as the glory of God, or the lightning ball, or the fireball. For instance, a few years ago, an uncontacted Amazon tribe was captured shooting arrows at planes flying over their community, thinking they were shiny birds or sky monsters. So this does not necessarily mean that they were not sighting an object that we today refer to as a UFO. What are your thoughts? During the American Civil War, a photo was captured of six soldiers that claimed to have spotted and shot down a pterodon one of the largest known flying reptiles that had ever existed on Earth. The massive beast, which was believed to reside in the northern parts of America, had an enormous wingspan of 20 feet. Some evidence that suggests this picture is real would be the fact that the photo was circulating long before Photoshop and the internet had even existed. And for more than 200 years, people in northern America have reported sightings of these creatures. The most controversial report surfaced on July 25, 1977, when a group of three children from Lawndale, Illinois, claimed that two giant birds chased them and then grabbed one of the ten-year-old boys, lifting him two feet off the ground before letting go. But whatever the case is, the picture remains an interesting story and one that nobody can seem to find any clues about. In 1907, nine fishermen caught a giant sea monster, going by what they began to call the Cadborosaurus, named after the Cadboro Bay in Canada. There have been over 300 sightings in the past 200 years of this sea serpent looking creature. Scientists have thrown many suggestions at what the creature could be, ranging from sea lions to pipefish, or even a basking shark. Even though many of the sightings could be written off as one of those, no one was able to give any clear answers towards this photo taken, and it was said that the creature was thrown back into the water shortly after taking the picture. And still to this day, no one has been able to identify the mysterious creature. Known as the Babushka Lady, this woman can be seen in several photographs following the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It has been noticed that while the many people in the photographs are seen running away from the scene, one woman spotted seemed to be oddly following the scene. And in some photos, people are even on the ground panicking while she stands there with barely any kind of reaction. 
Theorists who have studied the series of photos think she was filming and documenting the whole incident as it was happening, considering she was holding and pointing a camera in almost every picture. After the shooting, a call went out from the FBI demanding everyone who had been within the vicinity of the assassination to come forward. However, the mysterious lady from the photos never made an appearance. Although one person stated to the FBI that they may have had an encounter with the babushka lady, a film developer out of Dallas, Texas claimed he had developed a single color slide brought in by an unknown woman. The slide was a blurry, but from the developer's description, it matched up perfectly with where the babushka lady was seen standing. Among many conspiracy theories, many would argue that there is definitely something she knew that no one else did that day, especially since she looks too calm in such a frightening situation. In some way, she could have been connected through some source to gather invaluable evidence of what happened that day. But no further clues have ever come up about this woman's motives and identity, and has been left shrouded in mystery. What are your thoughts on this? So there you have it, five photos that are still lacking any kind of explanation and may stay that way forever. What are your thoughts or theories on some of these photos? Do these just pass as an elaborate hoax, or is there more to it than meets the eye? Comment your thoughts down below. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.